Hello everyone, I'm back and this time I wanted to bring you to where we are now. We're at Flint's Beach Caravan Park, which is located in Port Macquarie. So I, we decided to stay in this area. We've been to a lot of places, but I thought I wanted my kids to um, experience what a caravanning um, a caravanning, uh, what do you call that one, accommodation would be like. And what's so good about Flynn's Beach Caravan Park is if you go further up there, that bit is already the beach. A tiny bit of a walk and it's already the beach, which is so accessible to everything. And also very near the central, the city central, um, places to eat, groceries, whatsoever. So let's show you around Flynn's Beach. So when you come in, and also the reason why, by the way, the reason why I wanted to do this video is because um, when I went online or on YouTube to see whether there's any videos in relation to Flynn's Beach, I couldn't see anything. And if there is, it's just bits and pieces of, you know, people's adventures whatsoever. But I, I wanted to see how the other place would look like. So here it is. I'm trying to bring you through Flynn's Beach Caravan Park. When you enter, as soon as you enter over there, is the reception area or the office so if you if you go in after hours just like what we did last night we were here at 11 o'clock in the evening um, all they all they would do is put your um, your map and then they would have the um, the place already open for you your keys will be inside your um, inside your cabin so it's easy for you to to get in so when you walk in as I said this is the the reception it consists of many um, cabin type, I suppose, if that's what you can say. And then um, there's a parking for visitors um, if you need anything in the reception. So this area is um, powered and unpowered area. So we've got these different types of cabin depending on how many you are. So when you walk in, this, uh, you will see different types of cabins in here. So some are big, some are small, some are regular, depending on your needs and obviously budget. But uh, yeah, it's very clean, very organized, well kept, as I would say. On the next video that I will be adding up as well, um, I will be showing you what the, the inside of a cabin would look like. So the, one of the amenities would be the swimming pool. So the swimming pool in there, there's sitting areas over in there as well. It is high noon at the moment. I think it's two or three in the afternoon. I can't remember the time now. Um, so there's not much people around. But so these are the powered sites or powered area. So you can bring your caravan, just plug in whatever power you need. That area is a communal area where you can do barbecues or laundries or whatever. And then, yeah, so there are different types of cabins in there. We came from there. So our cabin is on the other side. There are people that are, I think, permanently living in here already or would have bought, a, 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 I don't know, a, 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 an area. So I can tell some of them have, have been in here permanently or for a long lease. So there's ones over there. This is not a big caravan park, just like other ones, but I would say it's very well kept, well maintained. Um, in the morning, this morning, I've heard a lot of birds. Um, chirping so it was really nice now as we go along so this is I'm bringing you to our, our site as well um, there was a caravan here this morning they still left their um, stuff in there but obviously they will be back so they must have gone to the beach or something like that and yeah so these are I, I believe these are the smaller ones just like what we have so ours is ample enough for four people there's two adults and two children so our kids are 13 and 14 years old so as i said you know there's bins around that you can put your your rubbish and all that they are as i said powered so these ones are powered one as far as or self-contained cabins there are also um sites that they just they just rent the area so there's power points whatsoever so some of them are over here there's other ones are on the other side as well, on the other side over there. But yeah, so this is how the area would look like. This is our one in here. It's pretty good. So in the next video, I will show you what the inside would look like. And overall, 
Would I recommend Flint's Beach um, Caravan Park? Definitely. So anyone who's wanting to enjoy um, the area, so, so next to the beach, so so easily accessible to anything. We just went to the shop not long ago and only took us like to get there six minutes, I suppose. It was just one straight line in a turn. So yeah, so everything and anything is accessible. So definitely would recommend for you guys to, to go to Flint's Beach Caravan Park. It is definitely one of those hidden gems, not expensive at all, very affordable and very well maintained. So yeah, I'll, I'll show you what the, the inside would look like in a bit. See you later. When you enter, so this is the door, you've got your little veranda here, and then in the veranda you'd see table. So if you want to sit down, have a coffee, whatever. So it's only good for two people, but that's all right. We brought our own chairs as well, just to enjoy nature. So there we go. So when you once you come in, this is by the way a very standard cabin or a very standard um, caravan room. So when we, you enter, you straight away get met by, obviously, the dining and lounge area. Um, over there is the room, obviously. Um, the kids and my husband still um, sleeping, but that's um, uh, that's the bathroom, um, shower. The kids have their uh, bunk bed over here. And then we've got the lounge, um, which is pretty good because they cover that one and obviously that gets cleaned all the time. You get your usual typical um, standard fridge and microwave. We did brought our own coffee machine. Um, can't live without coffee, but you know, very basic, the usual things. So there's the, the table and the chair. There is no, um, how do you call this one? There is no, um, let me just close this one dishwasher so what i did this morning last night sorry we arrived nearly 11 o'clock last night um because we left um sydney rather late at six o'clock so 10 45 10 48 i think we arrived so you've got you know there's just a lot of natural light coming in so you've got three windows um i'm watching tv at the moment i thought i'd get a news but i flicked it on that channel but i'll change it later what I could say is bring your own tea towel. We brought that one and another tea towel. I washed already last night because there's no dishwasher and I washed all the, the things that we will be using for today in hot water. So that includes the cups, the plates, the little plates, and I, I'm gonna use this pan for, what do you call that one? For uh, breakfast later. Um, yeah, so they provide you with the um, dishwasher, <laughs> dishwashing detergent. I brought my, own, we brought our own hand, um, hand wash. So bring that one with you as well. I brought that one with me. There's no sponge, and I don't normally use um, whatever provided sponge, just in case it's been already used. Not that I'm being a diva, but just for for hygiene purposes. We've got our coffee machine um, that I brought in. So yeah. Um, I didn't bring the, the milk flutter, I just brought a um, milk um, carton. Uh, you've got two burners in here, they're pretty, they're pretty good. The only thing that I didn't like is the PowerPoint. There's only that one PowerPoint, um, except for the room, but that's the only PowerPoint that we have in the area. Um, other than that, I suppose it's pretty good. I mean, it provides you with, you know, the usual stuff. Well, I've already washed the utensils, so it's not there. Um, I think they've provided, they, they have toaster, um, you know, this insect repellent, this, this, um, scara. They didn't provide the good thing that I, I brought those as, you know, the way to wash the dishes. They've got the little dustpan in there. Um, and then I just kind of rearranged it. This kettle was sitting over there, but obviously we might not be using it, at, or if we do, we're gonna go in and out, in and out. They've provided all the other amenities, like, you know, your cups, your plates, whatsoever, but it's very limited. So if you're gonna come in here and you are intending to cook a lot, you might as well bring your own, um, stuff like your pots your pans your um your spatulas or whatever you you needed 
but pretty much this is it very basic but it's very comfortable I would say it's very comfortable so that's how it look like you, you do have your fan so the weather right now is not really that stinking hot but you can just imagine if it's stinking hot um, yeah may, some may not be comfortable with just the fan but there is a fan in here and there is also a fan in the um, main room so the kids are enjoying their <laughs> bunk bed over there everything is provided so with linens um, everything is provided um, the sheets um, the blankets the pillows and they're all very clean and also the towels so if you can see that one over there that's the stack of towels that we have uh, some of are already in the bathroom but yeah, um, everything is, I find that it's really comfortable. Comfortable enough, you know, for four people. It's comfortable, maybe five, if that. Because what happened is the bunk bed is triple bunk bed. But I just decided to use um, that one for storage. The two kids are fine with that one. But yeah, everything else looks good. So hopefully anyone who's wanting to have a review or wanting to see this is where we're at Flint's Beach Caravan Park. So if anyone I haven't seen any good reviews in the um in the um on YouTube, so I thought I'd make one. So anyone who's intending to get a cabin here in Flint's Beach Caravan Park, um I recommend it. Um don't expect so much poshiness in it, but definitely doable when it comes to accommodation. So yeah. Um, storage wise we're only four anyway so we've used a lot of those bottom bit as our storage bathroom is quite adequate I'll give you a bit of a tour of the bathroom um, yeah so pardon us the only thing though is um, there is no um, rubbish bin in here so I made my own and then um, that's my own towel but they provide a towel um, everything looks Good. for me it's doable for anyone who is on a budget or wanting to experience caravan park like this is the caravan park so you've got everything there I'm just gonna close that one and back to here so you know why stay in a couple of thousands so we're here for five nights six days and we only paid around about nine hundred dollars, so not that bad. Because in those in those accommodation, if we're going to go to our typical hotel, it would cost us easily fifteen hundred and above. I've already seen a few that's nearly to the two thousand mark. So I am just being practical, and I want my kids to also experience what a caravan feels like. So that's why we're here. So hopefully, everyone who's seeing this one. We'll have a bit of an idea of how things are with the caravan caravan uh, place. So we're here at the Flint's Beach Caravan Park. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.